Okay, so this part of the question, when we're looking at newton raphson method, is exactly the same as what you need to do when you um, do an intersection question, when you're finding a root in an interval. So you're going to do f of 1.4, so in your calculator, we've got 1.4 cubed minus 10 square root 1.4 minus 4 times 1.4 over 1.4 squared. You don't need to write this, this is just me showing you what you're doing, and you get minus 0.4356, so on. If we do f of 1.5, we get 0.598, okay? And we say this is less than zero, this is greater than zero, so there is a sign change, and fx is continuous, which is the important bit. So root alpha is an interval 1.5, 1 1.4 to 1.5. Okay, so for part B, we want to differentiate it. Before we differentiate it, we're going to separate it out. So this is the same as 10x to the half over x squared, 4x over x squared which is the same as x cubed minus 10x to the power of minus 3 over 2 plus 4x to the minus 1. And so now we can differentiate it. And when we differentiate it, we've got f dash x equals, that comes down, 3x squared minus, and minus make a plus, so plus 15x to the minus 5 over 2 minus 4x to the minus 2. Part C, we're going to use newton raphsons method, which is in our formula book. So in your formula book, hopefully I've got a copy of it here, is given, um, if not, I'll just write it out for you. So in your formula book, you get given, do, 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 trick, numerical methods, yes, here we go. Under numerical methods, you've got newton raphsons and as you can see there, you've got your first xn plus 1, so let's rewrite it down here so we have it, xn plus 1 equals x to the n minus f of x to the n over f dash of x to the n. And so we've been told our first term because we've given our first term as 1.4. So we've got 1.4 minus f of 1.4, which we already did up here, which was minus 0.4356, divided by f dash of 1.4. So we're going to put 1.4 into this expression, and I get 10.3 something. So you stick that in, 3072. And you end up with 1.442 to three decimal places. All right, so nice and straightforward. If you get newton raphsons and it, because it says minimum and maximum, it's likely they just want you to differentiate it. Um, and maybe that's what the fx is. I imagine there's going to be some differentiation first, making it equal zero, and then you need to determine it. Right.